Hey everyone, Medkit here, and today Predecessor dropped a full match of early access gameplay with Kalari in the jungle. I've watched this video a dozen times already, and I'm going to show you some details that you may have overlooked and what I discovered after watching this match in super slow-mo. Let's go. I think the first change I want to talk about that's pretty big and many people either overlooked or are just not sure of is how the hunt item now works. Previously it used to be a passive item where if you were to basic attack a jungle minion with 500 health or less you would smite it. At 12.08 into the match you can see that there is a maximum of 2 charges. Using your first charge puts your hunt on a 15 second cooldown, so you can't just spam it twice for a quick burst of 1000 damage. Hunt used to be consumed at 30 stacks, but for early access it's actually not 30 stacks anymore. At 11.25 into the match, Kalari reaches level 9 and goes to level up an ability, but if you look closely here, she's at 37 stacks. Move forward to 12.58, here we see Kalari active smiting the Fangtooth and dealing 500 damage. She rotates to her 2 minion jungle camp, reaches level 10, but look closely at her hunt item. It's at exactly 40 stacks, not only that, but the actual freaking item changes when it's evolved. This is what a hunt with max stacks look now. I thought that small little detail is absolutely insane. At 1036, we get a sneak peek at the scoreboard. Have you noticed that Kalari is using a ward while Chimera is using a sentry? How did the Chimera get that there? Well fast forward to 1326 and we can see that wards and sentries can be purchased under this vision tab. For those who don't remember, a sentry will reveal all nearby wards and this is how it looks like in action. Now regarding the new UI, here's something that can be easily overlooked. These gold diamonds on your allies indicates if their blink is ready while the blue diamonds indicates their ultimate is ready. If you look closely, there's a blue diamond at the top of the ultimate icon down below on the HUD. This blue diamond is in sync to the blue diamond up top, however the gold diamond on the blink icon seems to be missing. A couple more notable moments in this early access match are the abilities from Decker, her ultimate, Howitzer's ultimate, and Chimera. In this part of the match I found it funny seeing Akai miss his ultimate. Since it's no longer a lock on ability and an AoE instead, you can potentially stun multiple targets but the fair trade off in my opinion is that it can actually miss. Overall I love the new UI. Everything is less cluttered and it looks gorgeous. However, there's one small feedback I can give, and it's the color contrast when the abilities are on cooldown. In this version, there's hardly any contrast to when an ability is on cooldown with this ugly gold on gold combination. And it may be confusing at times now to realize an ability is not ready yet at the heat of a battle. Me personally, I prefer the old color contrast that were used, nice and dark, bold, black, red, and white easy readability, but that's just my personal opinion. There's a dozen other things I may have missed, but if you spot anything, comment it below. Super excited for early access, I got my money locked and loaded, believe it or not, but early access is within the next 12 weeks. But as always guys, stay tuned and I'll see you in the next predecessor video.